Now let's see how to execute our uh, code through Selenium Grid. So for this, uh, uh, I need to create a new project. So let's create a new project over here for Grid. I'll give the project name as let's say Grid Two. Click on Finish. And I'll be uh, using the grid through test ng uh, for the parallel execution. I mean, parallel or sequential execution. I'll be using the grid through test ng. So I'll create a new class and give it a name as test sample and click on finish. And here I'll create a new method public void, let's say test login and I'll add a annotation at the rate test I'll add the test engine library and will add the import the test annotation now I'll be adding uh, the jar file so here I'll be adding the jar file that I have downloaded I'll go over here this is the jar file I need to add now in order to uh, work on grid we have uh, two classes that uh, we need to uh, import over here we need to use the first class is the desired capabilities I need to create the object of uh, this class I'll say desired capabilities cap equal to new desired capabilities and I'll say dot I think there is a spelling mistake over here C A capabilities dot again I'm missing something all right I need not to use the keyword new so I'll say dot and I'll access uh, like whatever browsers that I need to work let's say I need to work on Firefox so I'll access the uh, Firefox browser first and I'll import this class Again, there's a spelling mistake all right like this so I directly cannot use the uh, the Firefox driver over here uh, why I cannot use it because I need to specify uh, it like uh, where I need to uh, execute my like uh, execute my web driver code let's say I'm executing my web driver driver code on the grid so I need to give the URL of the grid hub as well right so for that I cannot use uh, directly uh, the Firefox driver class so for for that for doing that we have another class if you uh, go to seleniumhq.org over here you'll find another class that is used specially for grid and if you go to the web driver interface so this is the remote web driver class that we will be using this is mainly used when we are working with grid and uh, this is uh, this is the constructor of remote web driver that we will be calling in which we will be passing the URL of our hub and the object of our desired capabilities class right so let's see how to do it and uh, with this object if I say cap dot I need to uh, select set the browser name I'll set the browser name as Firefox in some time you'll come to know that what is the benefit of using this desired capability so if I say cap dot set platform and here I need to choose the platform on which I want to open this browser so platform over here it uh, represent operating system so 
we can choose a operating system could be any it could be Linux Mac Unix Android Windows so Firefox is supported on all all the operating systems so we can also say uh, any platform if in case if you're using IE then it works only on Windows in that case we say Windows so for Firefox we are using it any same way Chrome works on any any platform so with Chrome as well we'll be using the platform as any the next thing we are gonna do is uh, mm, we need to call the remote web driver I'll say remote web driver class I'll create object of this equal to new remote web driver and there is a constructor uh, the constructor uh, like in the constructor I need to create an object of the URL class and in that I will be passing the URL of my hub that is HTTP localhost colon my hub is on 4444 then uh, this and it's on this path right and then in the second argument I'll be passing the capability object so I'll import this remote web driver plus I'll import this URL class and then I can say driver dot get and I'll take it to the URL let's say http gmail.com and I'll enter some username or password I'll say driver dot find element by dot uh, ID for username the ID is email and then I'll say dot send keys I'll send some username like woman at gmail.com and then I'll say driver dot find element by dot ID and I'll enter some ID as let's say uh, the ID of the password element is PSSWD and enter some password as uh, any password I could enter over here right so this is the f this is my first test that I'm going to execute uh, with selenium grid so over here why is it throwing an error okay it's uh, cap not cap all right and then I need to add this exception I'll save it now first of all I'll be running it on only single port so I'll be closing one port and uh, then I'll be restarting one of my port uh, this is on port 5555 so this is my no uh, node 1 so I have uh, uh, like killed my node 2 so first of all I'll see how the execution happens uh, first of all we'll uh, start with the first node and then uh, we'll see how to uh, execute the same code parallelly on multiple nodes so what I'll do uh, if I right click over here if I say run as test ng test first of all I'll uh, refresh my hub okay, it is still showing uh, okay it cannot be reached at the moment let's uh, restart the hub as well so first I'll close the node I'll close the hub I'll restart the hub when I restart it right now nothing is there so now I'll restart my node as well so restarted the node and it has been restarted now if I refresh it okay this node it's this node is started now what I'll do, I'll uh, again go back to Eclipse and <coughs> start my, execute my code through TestNG. Okay, I saw some failure over here. What is the failure? It is saying that let's see we have test ng over here and then okay if I again run 
run it run as test ng I still got the same error let me take a look at the error I just can't understand what errors are there let us run it again if I I think it is running this time. Okay. It's going to Gmail and let's see. It is still running. It's not entering any username or password. Let's take a look at the hub first. See, you can see one of the hub is utilized over one of the one of the browser Firefox browser is utilized over here. And let's take a look over here. It has not entered any username or password. Maybe uh, let's take a look over here. Okay, this was all correct. It's gone to Gmail, and it should should have located the element over here and why is it not entering the username and password mm -hmm. okay let's try running it again let me close all browsers and there is a failure and the failure was error communicating with the remote browsers okay all right uh, let me reboot my hub and my node again not sure what exactly the issue is so we have to troubleshoot it and I'll run it again is opening the browser uh -huh. okay it's not entering any username or password all right let's try doing it uh, with the help of uh, testng.xml file what I'll do, I'll uh, create a new testng.xml file. I'll call one of the files from my existing project. I'll go over here. C drive slam. Copy one of the testng.xml file and paste it over here. It. What I'll do, I'll just remove all the test cases. Test sample. And I'll run this test again. is it not entering any value let's try doing some more troubleshooting let's uh, 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 let's try changing the version of the jar file okay I have downloaded the latest what might be uh, the latest is not supported with my current browser my current Firefox browser I'm using the very older version that is 3.6.28 since I need to show some examples with RC and RC is supported only on that browser so what I'll do I'll uh, change this version to instead of uh, I'll use the previous version this is the previous version jar file I have you can try it with the latest version if you have uh, like Firefox uh, 18 plus on your uh, on your machine you can try with that let me try with this and let's see if, if it is going to work for me or not and 
instead of 3, 2, I'll use 2, 8. Okay. I'll refresh uh, this. Okay, this is started on, uh, the hub is started on 2.28 and the node is also started over here. So what I'll do, I'll again execute my code, I'll again run my code through test ng suit. And let's see, this time as well, the Firefox is opened. All right, okay. So it means uh, that the new new version of the jar file does not support the previous uh, uh, Mozilla Firefox. See, uh, if I talk about my Firefox, see the version that I was talking about. It's quite old. If you have the latest Firefox on your machine, uh, it the latest jar file might be supported over there. So this is only uh, a, a, a concern of the jar file rest this is working fine now if, if I refresh uh, my if I refresh my hub you can see that one of uh, the browser is activated one of the browser is in use so what I'll do instead of uh, uh, like uh, I haven't killed my session over here so I've just said uh, just gone to this and I haven't quit it so if I say driver dot quit quit with it and next time if I again run it let's see if I again run this and if you see over here see the second one is also occupied but as soon as the second one is completely executed this should be this is gone right so it's it's it is compulsory. I mean that you should uh, quit. Uh, you should quit or close your current session. Otherwise, it will remain as active in your hub as well. All right. So this is one of the very very basic uh, step that we have seen. We have executed our uh, uh, like our our web driver code uh, on a grid session. So. But our purpose is not only this. This is only a basic example that we have seen. Our purpose is to execute uh, multiple test cases sequentially or parallelly on grid. So this is how we're going to configure grid. Now let's see some some more items over here. Now, uh, first of all, uh, we can see that how uh, we can execute this code on multiple browsers. So multiple browsers on a same node, right? Right now we have only one node active. So I want to execute that code on multiple browsers. I want to execute this code multi on multiple browsers, whether it is uh, sequentially or parallelly, it doesn't matter right now. So let's see how to execute our, uh, this code on multiple browsers. So for that in testng.xml, uh, some people what they do is they create a, a parameter tag and inside it they'll give the name as browser and the value let's say as Firefox right like this and now you need to uh, specify the same parameter uh, with your test case. So over here you need to write at the rate parameters and you'll give browser over here as the parameter. So you need to give it like this browser and you need to import this parameter uh, through test ng all right now same parameter uh, needs to be passed over here i'll uh, create a parameter a local parameter for this function like uh, browser and let's say if i uh, print this browser and if I execute this test, it's 
it's thrown an error. Okay, let me create some other variable instead of browser. If I run this. It is saying that at the rate test method login has not been marked as optional or defined. Parameter browser is required. So we have oh oh oh, oh okay 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 yeah, I, my mistake my mistake. So what we need to do uh, we need to execute it through testng.xml. So if I execute it through testng.xml. Uh, terminated by the matching end tag. Okay, we haven't specified the end tag for parameter. I just removed it by mistake. And this is the end tag. Run as. See, it has printed Firefox over here. So this Firefox is coming from this value, right? And same way, what I'll do. Uh, using this parameter using this browser then I will not be assigning I mean uh, this thing as directly to Firefox because in case uh, uh, the purpose of assigning this parameter browser over here as uh, like in case we are working with uh, uh, Firefox or in case uh, we have to switch to IE or then we need to switch to Chrome so this will be called through this browser parameter so what I'll do instead of uh, writing it like this I'll assign it the value as null and then I'll if I uh, write uh, if statement over here if I say browser dot equals and I'll give the object as browser if this is uh, equal to browser then what it should uh, sorry if this is equal to Firefox if the browser is equal to Firefox then it should do this thing and else if browser dot equals uh, let's say the browser is Chrome then we should say copy this paste it over here and for Chrome it should say desire capabilities dot Chrome and over here we'll pass the Chrome and for Chrome as well the platform should be any and then for IE I'll say else if browser dot equals and the browser uh, should be like I explore or uh, then I'll say I'll copy the same thing over here as well desired capabilities dot internet explorer the browser name I explore and the platform IE can only support Windows so the platform should be Windows right so this is uh, the basic configuration we need to do in case we are willing to work with all these three browsers right then I'll save it now if I if I again go to testng.xml so right now I have defined it for Firefox so this will gonna open the Firefox if I define the value as Chrome and save it and then I again run it then uh, you're gonna see that this will be opening in Firefox or uh, in Chrome okay I have one failure over here and what is the failure it's saying the null pointer exception null pointer exception over here we have given the browser name as chrome okay oh okay i missed to add this gap object so i need to say gap uh, just one second gap equal to this then 
over here as well I need to say cap equal to this and then cap equal to this I need to define this object I need to assign this Firefox and Chrome whatever browsers to this capability object desired capability object now I'll save it and I'll run it this time and this time if we see okay it has completed the execution so maybe we were not able to see it because uh, one of the Chrome browser is already open so what I'll do I'll uh, run this again and uh, run as test ng suit and it is running somewhere oh, oh okay 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 I got it let's run it one time more so I have so many applications over opened over here uh, I'll run as so if you see, uh, okay, it's, see it's over here, it's running over here, right? And see it has executed on Chrome. So same way I can, if I give uh, the parameter as IE, then it will gonna open up in IE. And we do not need to uh, define that drivers like Chrome uh, driver.exe or uh, Firefox or uh, IE driver.exe iDriverServer.exe file. So we do not need to define it over here since we have already defined it in our uh, node uh, while exi while uh, running the node we have already mentioned what all drivers it requires so we have already defined it over here. So same way I mean uh, if I again uh, don't quit it then you will gonna see that uh, one of the Chrome uh, browser is also invoked in my hub so if I go to hub, if I refresh it, you can see one of the chrome is also highlighted over here. So this time it is the chrome is being used. Alright. Now what if uh, I want to execute this uh, test on uh, Firefox, Chrome and IE on, on all three browsers. So what I can do, one thing I can do is that uh, I can just copy this test and uh, paste it uh, three times like login test. Uh, I'll give it a name as uh, Chrome, then login test. Firefox then login test IE and over here I can pass in the value in case of Firefox I'll say Firefox and then the browser I explore like this right so this is one way I can do it but this is not the correct way although the browsers will be open but this will be uh, opening uh, sequentially one after another so let's say if I if I uh, execute this now I run this then this will first gonna launch Chrome and over here Chrome is launched and then if I refresh if I refresh this you will see this Firefox IE and Chrome all these three are active but this is a sequential execution one after another right first of all Firefox is open then uh, first of all uh, like in, in XML what we have mentioned uh, like Chrome first of all Chrome was open then Firefox then IE and over here if you see this IE is open and same way if you if you see over here the Firefox is open right but this is not the way we will be doing it so practically we will not be uh, doing it like this this is not the correct way of doing it now in order to execute your test parallelly what you need to write over here you will be writing uh, you'll be calling another parameter that is parallel equal to tests and then you will be giving the thread count 
let's say you are calling three test over here you can give the thread count as three so what this uh, parallel test will do uh, if you see it in the documentation of test ng uh, like if you go to test ng dot org there there is a test ng documentation and here you can read the concept of parallelism and timeouts so over here you can see uh, like if you if you include this you can use it with the, the methods you can use it with the test the classes and the instances so we are using uh, this with the test so when we execute this with the test then each of our test cases uh, this test will be executed parallelly so if it is called here uh, thrice then all these three uh, set of test will be executed parallelly at the same time on multiple browsers right so now uh, if I execute this right now if I run it and uh, let, let's uh, let's clear this hub first I mean if I refresh it this hub is still active right so what I'll do I'll just uh, clear this hub first I'll just stop this node and then stop this hub and now again restart this hub I'll refresh it it has no node I'll again restart the node and I'll refresh it now what I'll do I'll execute my code right now I'll say run as test ng suit and now if you take a look over here you can see all these three browsers see all these three browsers are activated at the same time and if you take a look over here see this IE this Chrome this has been opened at the same time although uh, we are not able to uh, like judge it uh, at this point of time because it's a very small test but these three are activated at the same time so if you have a big test then you will be able to analyze it so this is how uh, we can do a parallel execution in one node uh, like we can execute uh, we can open multiple browsers and we can execute our code parallelly on those browsers and this thing is not done by grid this thing is done with the help of this attribute parallel equal to test this is done with the help of test ng and not by the grid the grid only supports the ex parallel execution over here it, it only helps in opening uh, these browsers parallelly all right